Hello and welcome back to Age of Wonders 4. Tonight, we're going to be doing a simple match here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Flay, Flay Bless Fields, Astral Deserts. It's water, Plague by Sandstorm. Wounds of Ambition. That's a special situation, so. I guess I go with this one. Oh, that's seven. That's a lot more than I was expecting. Your destination. Well, I can make it smaller, actually. Uh, simple three is fine, I think. Normal's fine. Classic turns is fine. Your journey starts here. If I made Jean Tapeta. Alright, so basically they're based off the Creeping Clan from Breath of Fire 2. So for the specialty I chose Hearty. So units are a little more HP, which makes sense. They're pretty uh, a pretty hearty bunch. And Cold-Blooded is... Uh, well, they're not the cold type, but rather the t really laid-back type. Because... Uh, Breath of Fire 2, the main plot around uh, Jean slash Tepeta is that he uh, was dealing with an imposter to his throne, and, and everyone was aware of this big dispute, and yet nobody was all that bothered by it. They just kind of like, continued on. Uh, feudal was the origin culture. The culture's feudal because that's the king's knights and lords one. Society traits. What defines their society? This one requires a required a bit of going out of my way to justify, but my logic was, well, they went to collect those rare insects and stuff to create a great meal, so I figured, I'd, well, I guess talented collectors are fine. And of course, perfectionist artisans, because they had a very big focus on arts and culture. I mean, Valjean was put into... Uh, to a prison, they still let him work on his love of painting. So I figure, I guess they're just that kind of uh, laid back. Choose your first tome of magic. Now this one's a little open to interpretation, I admit, because he mostly had offensive and status magic. Oh, and on that note, part of the reason I chose additional durability, I didn't just choose Hearty for the uh, Status. It's also because Tepeda was pretty tanky in Breath of Fire 2, so I figure that works. Choose your first tome of magic. Mostly had some ice and status magic when I checked his the wiki to well, I checked some walkthroughs and wiki stuff to double check his spell list, and it was mostly ice and status effects. So I figure, uh, I guess cryomancy. Although shadow affinity doesn't seem like his kind of thing, but at the same time, I guess it's fine. Champion. What's your ruler's origin. A champion of the people was obvious here, since I figure this could be reasonably take place after the events of Breath of Fire 2, as Tepeda reaches godhood or whatever. Reveal yourself. Sadly, I couldn't get his blue and white outfit, but I could get his look as close as I could. Although, hmm, I should go the other way around. Yeah, that looks a little better. Your and I, journey begins. I just made it Jean Tepeda using both his uh, original Japanese name and the uh, English dub name that he was given a little later. And of course, his race is the Creeping Clan, just like in Breath of Fire. And of course, King, because he was a prince of uh, himself. I'm not going for too long of a match here. In fact, I may even lose since I usually go on easy and this is going to be hard. Well, no, it's normal. But it's a bit harder than I'm used to. But I figure win or lose, this will be good to show them off. Ice Coffin's a good starting spell period, I think. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and make another scout here right away. Oh, no, no, no. East watch, that won't do. 
Sima Fort was his hometown in Breath of Fire 2, so I want to remain true to that. And let's see here. I'm usually a fan of starting with the storehouse just to get the population going, so let's do that. Workshop is also really good, though. I'm just going by my personal preferences for this. I'm not sure if it's actually all that efficient or not. Well, let's go for a fight here. Odd. Uh, no, let's go manual combat for this since it's the first battle. Alright. And then with a sword, shield, and mount, simply because, well, I figured Topedo is a typical knight type of character. It should be ideal there. The knight is the main tier 3 unit so, of the feudal group, so that should be fine. Bolstered resistance. charge strike. Cancel defense mode. Oh, wonderful. I should have done that sooner. The nice thing about supports is they can they only attack once no matter what, so you can use their full movement if you need to. I think that should be enough to make sure those die. Oh crap, webbed. Ah, well that fixes that problem, doesn't it? Heal them all. There we are. Excellent. The feudal culture basically makes units stronger the more they stand together, hence the bonus stand together. And perfectionist artesians makes it so that my stuff takes a lot longer to build, but so my... And I also start with only one city cap. So basically, my cities, it's harder to gain new cities, but my cities are much higher quality individually as a result. Uh, frost blades for a buff might not hurt. Resistances. Might be able to charge in from the side to make that easier. That'd be quite ideal for me. Ice coffin. Oh, wonderful. Take him out. Take him out? Okay, good. There we are. See, uh, let me just go ahead and... Oops, I swear I keep forgetting this. I remember half the time, but not always.
Oh, wonderful. Oops, I accidentally hit uh, the wrong person there. Flammable objects in the addition is immune to burning. I guess that is a required secondary ability, isn't it? Ruler has level up. Excellent. To pay to here. Uh, Lord of Crops. Again, I usually like to go with uh, production. Again, I like to get with food just to get the city's growth going sooner rather than later. Looks like a city-state's over there. <laughs> Guess that's alright. Production added to the city. Oh, excellent. The storehouse is almost done. You meet Inquisitive Pavalos. City. Most valiant uh, Tepeta he extends a cautious hand. Apprehension and excitement steer words in equal measure. And excitement steer words in equal measure. Seldom have we encountered one such as you, risen to the ranks of mortality to champion the people. Uh, one can't help but wonder will you endeavor rule these lands for good or for ill? Interesting. I was under the impression the first city state next to you is always of your own race. Well, I suppose we can give him the Whispering Stone for now, work on our relationship. Alright. Excellent. I definitely want to start killing these things so that city can start benefit. I also need to take out the brigand camp. Oh, I can annex. Uh, pretty much always good to start with a farm. Again, I like to start out, or at least I personally like to start out with the farms for food production here. Oh, well, if they already annexed that, that's their problem. Spells ready to cast, eh? Guess I can start that. Crossblade's complete, so let's research something new. Enchanted Crow Companion's probably worth it to make scouting easier. More enemies, surprising. Ah. That is a very valuable resource. I can't get it with this city very easily, unfortunately. With everything I chose for Tepeda, I tried to base it off the people of Sima Fort from Breath of Fire 2 proper. So, by doing so, I actually do have a coherent strategy. He has less... I definitely want a quarry here. It's going to be very difficult for him to make a lot of cities, so I'm probably going to want to go for a tall empire over a wide one. Another ruler comes to threaten my empire. Stay out of my way, and I will stay out of yours. Well, we're supposed to... The pay is always a laid, always a laid back and friendly fellow, so let's go here. I think people attempt a flattery. You'll need more than that, King. Probably best I manual this combat, especially because I know once that skeleton thing dies, it summons something very inconvenient for me. I can tell you that much. There we are. Fortune. Missed. 
stand together or bolster resistance? I have to go the long way around for this. I will end turn here. Charge. There we go. Cancelled retaliation as well. Not bad. Yeah, heavy charge cancels defense mode and does disallows the enemy from retaliating, which is quite nice if I say so myself. Missed. Critical hit on my spear, man. That's awful. Damn it. Uh, that's not good to be losing units this early. Go retaliate, move the retaliation by going around. Robe of resistance and a lightning sword. Excellent. Uh, let's see here. Beautiful long sword. If I want the lightning sword in its place, and more resistance, don't mind if I do. Sit fast. I think more defense would be nice because Topedo was pretty tanky in Breath of Fire, so let's go that with that then. Plus, maybe Pavlos will be happy for us clearing that. Storehouse produced. Excellent. Now we're getting a decent workshop. Okay. Workshop next, and probably good to get clergy commons, since that's both money and... But one step at a time. Everything's a lot harder to build, but... Founding or absorbing cities reduced. Not running into water yet. I can probably... These, but I... Judging by how good some of the stuff up here is... Oh, there's another... Hostile inspect. Hmm. It's early on. I might be able to take them on. Keyword being might. All right. Let's make some more units here. Oh, what's this? Name day celebrate. Humbly invite you to join the name day horse. Oh, the birthday party for their magistrate, I see. Hmm. Have your finest artists. Well, this seems like a very tapeta thing to do. A painting. A little expensive, but worth it, I think. Uh, it's a bit expensive, but I think it's worth hurrying recruitment here. see here. Getting a mine here would be quite good, but if I also might want to go up in here. I probably want a forester sooner rather than later, but at the same time I could use the money. Let's get the forester for production. It also should speed up a good amount. Yeah, it speeds up a good amount of the stuff here. 
Shop's done. Uh, Thorgy Collins will get me both money and... Oh, right, I got Cast Frost Blades here. Excellent. Negotiation succeeded. Should probably go over there soon. A bit expensive to hurry, but I think this will be worth it. Strength and blood, glory to you. The blood letters welcome you. We look forward to seeing your strength. Ah. I might want to withdraw the stone here. Hmm. Well, I could go with order into either order... Yeah, if I can get to order a bit more, I can actually get some mo another Whispering Stone. There's one from the neutral one here, but it takes a little while to reach. And there is one from Shadow, but it takes quite a while to get there. I won't, I won't have it anytime soon. So, yeah. Oh yeah, I also found out while playing off-stream that apparently if I go to the, uh... If I go to the crypts here... If... Lost connection to server, what the crap? Well, no matter. Uh, I found out you can actually get an enemy hero's equipment if you sell their remains, which is interesting. I never would have expected that. Oop. Isn't Pikeman? Might be worth buying these and hard building this one just because we need as many people as possible. Why are you. Signet, Frost Arrows, Blizzard. I suppose Frost Arrows will be nice. A rivalry. This one will be better off with the likes of you. I'm warning you, stay away from me and my people. And yeah, I chose the most smug, um, when I, not quite, so I just kind of, uh, I just felt right, I guess, when I chose that one. Uh, what does the other combat say? Acceptable. I really should take this place sooner rather than later. I can get a new spot. But let's get this because I want the uh, Fireforge Stone in my empire. When annexed, more production. Rather ideal for perfectionists like us. Um, this allows me to get stronger units, so I should definitely do the castle first. Hmm, another good potential city location, I see. The frogs here definitely prefer a tall empire over wide ones, so I'll have to be smart. Give them the Whispering Stone, because I want to beat this guy here. I also found out to off-stream that apparently you can give Whispering Stones to your own cities to improve stability, which is very good. I'll need to keep that in mind. For the moment, I might want to take to attack Crush Rock. Oh, what's this? Offer jewels for a wand of fire breath. During a lengthy discussion on trade tombs, you discover an exquisite wand, fire breath, mounted on the wall. You admire the craftsmanship of the object, even though the wisp through the whispering stone, you can sense a powerful energy. This artifact belongs in the horde of a god ear, not the wall of a chiefess. Rocky soon notices your interest. Your fascination flatters me, but it's only a generous offer that can convince me to part with it.
All right. We'll pay for it. We have the money, after all. Wand of Fire Breath. The paid has quite a fire setup, despite him mostly focusing on ice and breath of fire, but... Well, like I said, my general headcanon is... Uh, after the events of Breath of Fire 2, Tapeta decides to, uh, ends up achieving his godhood and becomes a god -ear, and now is in this game. And if you're wondering why I'm swapping off between Jean and Tapeta, officially is the tr fan tr the, the official translation used Jean, especially for the su original Super NES release of the game. This is perfectly fine, but a big thing about... Ooh. posts. This, this might be worth it when I start making them, but not yet. So I guess more food wouldn't be a bad idea, just so I can grow faster. So we'll do that. But yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, I actually didn't... How? <clears throat> Let me start again. Oh wow, that's a lot of enemies here. Uh, good luck, Mr. Scout. Uh, when I actually played first Breath of Fire 4, Breath of Fire 2, I actually didn't play it when it was recent with the Super NES version. I played it later with a fan translation. Another ruler comes to threaten my empire. Stay out of my way. I'll stay out of yours. And welcome gift. You think a feeble attempt of flattery will convince me? You'll need more than that. I have to be careful. Fresh rock. I should be able to capture the city. It's a little tough, but they only have one hero, so I think we can take it. If I could get this, though, it'd be quite ideal because it's in range to grab some very valuable items. And uh, because of our trait, Precious Collectors, I get a huge bonus if I can get those special unique items in my empire. Tier 2 Battle Mage unit. That might be quite good for me, actually. Enchanted Crow Companions, so now my scouts can see further. We, the people of Fullerton, greet you. You'll find a place of honor, glory, and devotion to chivalry. We anticipate either peace will be achieved between us because of the values or engage in glorious combat. The bard will sing for generation. Not bad, actually. And since this is underground, I don't think it's going to be under threat by any enemies anytime soon. Win, huh? Good to know. Oh, that is not good. I need to... He's gonna place a city there and I cannot take... I cannot allow that. War with Crush Rock, we'll have to wait. Uh, diplomacy with Otto. Declare a justified war, minor justification. We reached minor, let's see here. Having only minor means upon declaring war it's still frowned upon. They're still considered an evil act, your empire relations will suffer a penalty. Personality. Empires with a single race, empires without relationship with the free cities with larger domain, and we start wars. Well, buddy, you just caused me to get pissed off. Fabricate a grievance. I think that's very out of character for Tapeta, actually. I probably should have just declared war instantly. Very well, if it's war you want, call the banners. At least one hero is required. Oh, that's their army. Oh, that's their leader, actually. It's not enough. It's fine. Uh, 
First of all, let's claim this, because I need that mine. And I don't want him to take it. Alignment changed to evil. Unfortunate, but... He placed an outpost right in front of my city. I cannot allow that. Fresh rock. I'm guessing that's what this army is. Which is mildly inconvenient. Meeting the Vigilant Harrington. Hmm. Not bad, actually. So that's good enough for what I can do now. Okay, good. Now I can start making defenders. I don't have enough money to hurry recruitment. I need to start making things, actually. Uh, stonemason. I need to get my research going. My research is at a snail's pace right now, and that's not acceptable. What does the auto combat say? That is an acceptable outcome, actually. Start. Headlong assault. There's nothing here, so... Long assault, undermine the walls. Alright, let's go here. Stacks here. These guys are probably going to attack me next, but I am absolutely not worried. Ah, to pay to leveled again. Good, good. Uh, frost weapon's probably good. Ooh, plus I get bonus damage against frozen foes. That sounds like fun. Alright, sounds good to me. Might as well get some more ice going. You're insulted. You may be the rising star now, but at last, sooner or later. Uh... Oh, perfect. All right, that took out that party. Remains of, uh, he's been collected. Excellent. And yeah, like I said, I can actually sell remains and you'll get the sh their gear, but I don't think he has any gear. Uh, a little, but nothing to write home about, I don't think. Might even consider reviving him into my army if he's good enough, honestly. Excellent, I now have battle mages. Order tomes are usually pretty good. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, Tome of Faith for Faithful Whispers to try and get things going sooner. Army Heal. Actually, Army Heal is probably going to be pretty good. Produce a library. Good, good. Uh, pro should probably get a vendor going. Our tavern might keep everyone happy. Yeah, vendor's ideal here, and... Might as well get another farm so that I can also begin work on the... Stonemason after to build some stuff sooner. I'll just capture this outpost for now. What do you want before you can approach Harrington? What do you want with my lesser storm spirits? Oh, an army from Harrington cannot contacts you. What do you want? They guard on my orders. The troops may nervous observe. My supreme. Ooh. Interesting, that's his army. Well, I guess I'd best head over start fighting Crush Rock sooner rather than later. Actually, if I can save a turn here, that might be worth it. Boost Defender, Spell Ready, Frost Arrows, Enchant. 
I have no idea what these guys are like. Let's see here. Mole blood letters. Beings who evolve from underground dwellers and retain their heightened sense of touch. To them, the best defense are their shields. They patience in battle. They thrive underground as well as anyone else. Harbor knowledge back at the beginning of time. Let's see here. Ancient wise ones. They've been around since art of history, honing their minds, pursuing knowledge, powerful evokers. Interesting. They're primarily war culture, but also primarily magic. That's interesting. Good news, proceed. Looks like these guys paying to boost his allegiance. I think it might be worth it just to make sure I always stay ahead. As soon as I make an alliance with him, I'm not gonna do that. Ooh. Uh, let's get a free daylight spear then. Because we need to take Crush Rock for ourselves sooner rather than later. This. A distraught member of the Creeping Clan Council requests an urgent meeting. Terrible news, my king. Our, score, our scouts have spread sightings of corrupt souls in our lands. Our forebears had legend of these creatures. They're bringers of death. And seen this creature here all 77 years. We must drive it away immediately to prevent unrest. No need to panic. I will take care of them. Alright, this should be sufficient to take the city, I think. Ah, wonderful. Another Whispering Stone. That's precisely what I was after. Altar of the Elements. Arian. Alright, Druin, I can make my friends here. And I need to boost Allegiance to keep these guys. If I can negotiate them into being an alliance before he gets them, that would be quite ideal. Okay, that's my outpost. Uh, let's create it to stone walls. Just so I have a better outpost status here. Siege, two turns. Add siege products. Brass the defenders. Undermine the walls. That should be sufficient. Stack guarding. This should be fun then. Interesting, he vanished. No wait, mines are on top of him, I think. Oh, the daylight spear made it. Okay. Just head on over to help with the war, please. Select new research. Convent. Uh, that's probably going to be useful because, as mentioned, my research is taking a nosedive. I can worry about raising the city cap later, although building some roads might not hurt. I can only build in my own territory, in neutral territory, but it'll add up. until breach. Since these guys are leaving, I'm pretty confident they're not going to be there in time to help, so... Seema Fort can annex. Something new. Good. Gonna have to claim that before Harrington gets there. He's not gonna like it too much, but... I can use...
That stack does not have a hero in it, so... Oh, nice. Reclaimed province has been captured. Sigh. At least it looks like it'll be easier to take him on. The rats are probably somewhere else. Vassalize the conquered city. Where's this again? Oh, right here. Honestly, that's not too far off. Uh, friend army heal. I should be able to heal these guys sooner rather than later. And the other army vanished. Completely vanished. Ruler has leveled up once again. Wonderful. Tank. Empire development, magic origin, units upkeep reduced, destroying infestation or conquering, grants additional relations, province improvements for each adjacent of the same type. I might want uh, pacification just because I probably should have gotten that last turn, honestly. Well, remains have been collected. Anything good? Okay, I guess. True sight. You can see invisible or camouflaged units. Crush Rock is officially mine now. Wonderful. Oh, right. Uh, army heal, if you please. And I should probably prep another. It's going to take two turns, actually. That's a little annoying. Okay. Competitors. Their allegiance. Faithful Whispers, that's what I needed to get these going faster, but it looks like he might just beat me since I wasn't... Oh, darn it. I can just leave that outpost for now. Alright, now what's next? A market tavern, probably be ideal. Rainbow Clover, excellent. Got magic materials here. I'm slowly making progress. If I can get the whole boat. The bonus for having all of them is quite nice, but we'll see. Usually a map will come with all of them, some, usually with multiple copies even, so I don't have to worry too much, but... Do -do -do. Unexpectedly demands you share wisdom and lore. I confess I seek your tutelage of magic. I advance my aspirations through generosity, compassion, and knowledge is what I desire. Ally to your cause. I'll share lore with you. Ah... Is there a, uh, foreground thing here? A bounty forever gets the corrupt soul. I probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well. 
Victory proves the Creeping Clan are true warriors. Outpost under siege. That's a wild tail breach, though, so. Excellent. We now have a pact of vassalage with them. Uh, boost allegiance. As long as we beat them, that's all that matters. Might as well bring the scout to help fight, since we're going to need all hands on deck for this. Army heals. He's probably- I see. This underground passage is basically right next to his home base, I'd be willing to wager. Yeah, I can see the outline of it. Should be able to do a rush job on it, then. Oh, he sees what I'm doing, and he's not liking it. He immediately gave up the siege. Let's speed up the White Witch here to bring her over here. Rather than go here, let's go to the Hero Crypt. Recruit him. Oh. I can grab one of these. I've got a decent selection here, actually. don't have the money for it, and I'm going over my hero cap if I do that, but... Hold the line. All f units gain steadfast. Yeah, my research is hot garbage. I really do need to work on the Arcane Institute or the Convent. Mana income is really good, but yeah, the Arcane Institute's going to have to come after. Annex a new province. Wonderful. Might as well get another farm going. Free cities vassalized. Sell remains. I could get some quick cash by selling the remains if I wanted to. In fact, I think I will. I can also recruit a hero if I want. Inspiring. Good. Double the morale bonus from killing enemies. Materia adept. Crush rock. Inspect. A melee specialist. Not bad, although Tepeda I already am building as one. Shadow adept. Uh, what's this guy look like? Pretty good melee setup, uh, actually. Even has the blink ability. Wouldn't hurt, but... An archer, eh? 
Hmm. Archery, a bit more bulk. Tempting. I don't have any magic, too many magic users, so one of those might actually be quite helpful. It is going to be a pain on my gold income by doing this, but at the same time... Channel power. Inspect. Archery, true sight, vigor. Of course, we could also go one of our own, the Creeping Clan members. Base attacks have a randomly inflected... Ooh! This looks really... There can be this lord at any one time. Power. Inspect. Too similar to the one we already have. Inspiring Defender. They sure love giving magic users... Sensor. I just realized he has teeth, and frogs with teeth are, can be... Well, no, frogs who technically have gripping teeth, they just don't have... But chomping teeth, and... I do kind of want this one. It's expensive, but I really do want... It costs additional gold, it costs 30 each turn. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> city was vassalized. Harrington. Last. Well, no one else seems to want this city, so I'll go ahead and go with them. I don't think anyone else is going for this one, are they? No, they are not. All right. Oh. How did I lose that one? I should have been fine. Damn it. That's embarrassing on my end. These are the fragments of the Staff of the Magi, he says, showing a button careful of shards long ago, it inspired fear in the enemies of the Creeping Clan, its keepers long search for a way to new life. Wait, never will be found the mythical ore. I shall aid you. Here is someone's good weapon. There's no time for a quest like this. That is a that is a tier four unit over there. Holy crap. I should have cast that spell earlier. That was on me to lose those vassals, but that's fine. Oh, crap. Oh, there is food here, however. Interesting. Rogue Marauder.
All right, good. We produced that. A Sonic Hall. We absolutely need to get this stuff built sooner rather than later. <laughs> Vassals gr give additional gold tribute. Another Whispering Stone. It might be a little late, but I think it might be worth trying, I guess. Seat above all. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to declare war on him. Moderate. Ooh, where is the best city? Is it moderate? Our forces are about equally matched. Declaration countered. Let's waste no time with words. Great offer. Glad to see the bonds are forged. Yeah. I ended one war at the very least. Annex a new province. Good, good. I could, of course, just capture Harrington here and now. That honestly would probably be worth my time. If we're completely honest. Silver Tongue Fruit acquired. Spells ready to cast. Faithful Whispers. Might as well get the other one a bit faster. Easy fight. Barely any damage either. Okay, Frost Shield. Just play Vitality plus two defense. That's pretty good bulk in the general sense. Four. Very fast, the cavalry. Alright, that's fine, I guess. Sentinel. Staff of Radiance. Evoker's Robes. Magic. Not sure. For uh, this hero, however. Evoker's Robes. Can't use a shield with a spell or, but that's fine. Oh, we got refunded. Oh, and he gained 20 points. That's pretty good. Arcane strength. Sounds good to me. Summon animal. Ooh, that's a really good one, as I found out. <laughs> Tome of Amplification? No. Revelry! Follow the path of debauchery and reward those who take chances and specialize in gaining morale. The people of Seema Fort seem like the type to go for this sort of thing, so let's go for it. Nothing instills more doubt in an enemy than a foe who revels in battle. Reveler's heart. The warriors who feast upon the carnage, they are the ultimate victors of war, no matter the outcome. Take glory in the fray and care not who wins.
<laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I guess the game expected me to meet these guys first. Whoops. Convent and then a bathhouse. Go to the teeth shrine after that. Anything good in here? Uh, mostly just stuff I already have, by the looks of it. Might as well get some quick unit boosts. Other oh, rulers make a defensive pact. Oh my, they're allying with one another against me. Uh, I'm pretty sure as long as I take Harrington, I should be in good shape, though. A harvest in the domain of CM4 has been bountiful this year. The city's well known for its impressive agriculture, and even now it's undone itself. Food stalls turn a grand square into a mute maze filled with aromas and flavors. As children parade the streets with baskets full of yield, there's no doubt that all the other rulers are in awe. For lavish parties, sell the extra produce, donate the excesses of the poorest families. Six turns does seem like a useful one. Might as well get some good alignment points. We've been lacking in that lately. Alignment change to good. Start the siege. Add siege projects. Break the battlements. Harass the defenders. This should be very easy once it occurs. Uh, we'll also make a couple defenders here. Okay, good. We're getting some really good uh, stuff here. Oh, thank you for the subscription, Snowy Storms. I appreciate it. Guess I might as well prep this and to get ready. Hopefully, you might be bizarre. Bro, strategies like this are entertaining. One turn left until we get in there. Reveler's heart. Let's keep that, but let's get Blood Fury weapons. Uh, we'll save that for the next one. It's fine. Not yet. I'll use this next turn. To ensure that the city falls immediately. Oh, right. Lizard on these guys. Now they start with some weaknesses. All right. Now they start with stash resistance and a little bit more damage. Dang, we barely took any damage out of that. Uh, we'll vassalize that city, I think. I should probably clean out the small monster den while we have a moment. Because these actually do get more annoying if you leave them alone for too long. But I'm also at war, so I need to deal with him. Is this one of his heroes? Nope, just a sun priest. These heroes are probably out and about, so... I 
Excellent. He's been captured. Remains have been captured. Uh, do you have anything good on you? Not really, no. I imagine these guys aren't going to attack, but yeah. What's this? John King Tepeta, your hero has come distressed. My little brother, he's been dowsing for stones, and yet he's never returned. He migrated to Sima Fort when you recruited me. He's been um, prospecting for precious stones the, and metals. There's a wee boy carrying an oversized dowsing rod. Recently, a faraway gold vein normally returns. Today's the eighth day. Ah. Mildly annoying, but we need to clear this area out anyways. And annex a new area. I'm taking this one for no other reason than to deny Harrington it. Let's see here. Gain experience faster, instantly gain with all free cities. 15 hit points per turn. Uh, fast natural recovery might be good to help recover. Vassals are better. And units gain more experience. Wonderful. They're now friendly to us. recruitment. Alright, there we are. Alright, if I have to defend my main city in case he attacks. I have plenty of time to get back if needed, but... No casualties. Lure it away with fresh cattle from Sima Fort. Growth is removed, but we don't have to fight it. Excellent. A batterman crawls out. I knew someone would come looking for me eventually. I hid out down there for days, eating larvae and slimy moss to survive, but it was worth it. The tunnel surrounding the go teeming with rubies. Rescue me, please accept one of the treasures I've discovered. Ooh. Skills are at your service. Teach me about these precious metals as well as the behavior of these young worms. I absolutely need more research. Blood Fury weapons. <laughs> A hero has leveled. Wonderful. What of magic? War. Magecraft 2. Some good damage there. Oh yeah, I have another frost shield, but he can't use that since he's a mage. Druin has sent a war party into your domain. Gonna have to come back here fairly soon. Crap. What do you want? I have more important things to do than listen to you. Uh, not the Teeth Shrine. Instead, focus on Archer Battlements should be good. Scald. That is a tier 3 support unit. That should be quite helpful, I think. Blood Fury weapons. Probably going to be in huge for this. Great. 
Right, I should probably put another one here. Whispering Stone. Ah, they see that my units are coming. Yeah, I need to get Seema Fort higher defenses. Alright, good. Altrip Stash is probably going to be helpful here. We need to get this done sooner rather than later. After that, do a Teeth Shrine and then a Wizard Tower. Arcanium, Arcanium Ore Obtained. Oh, wonderful. Ah, yeah, it was them. Spell Ready. Enchant. Ooh. New Empire Development Skills Available. Cities that share a border gain 10% all types of income. Sounds good to me. Metropolitan Society Obtained. Spirit Wolf. Yes to free units, please. Excellent. All right, I got distracted. Uh, since the first version of the game for Breath of Fire 2 I played was actually a fan translation, they had names more accurate to the original Japanese version. So Tepeda, Jean was Tepeda, uh, Cat was Linpu, things like that. Rest assured, I hold no particular loyalty to any name or the other. It's just those that I'm more familiar with since I started the fan translation. And even then, I won't sit here and say my translation is uh, amazing or anything. Like, um... A lot of the NPCs and stuff were given names from Breath of Fire 3, and s for example. What's this? As expected, the gala will be... To celebrate your alliance, Pavilio has invited you and a guest to arrive. As expected, the gala will be packed with events. Promises all sorts of cultural entertainment, debate, performances... Ample opportunities to fawn bonds. Who extra guest? Bring your best architect. On to stress the importance, bring the wisest scholar. Architect seems rather ideal here. After this, I definitely need to get the citadel going because I'm going to I need knights now. Oopsie. Oopsie. Well, I guess I could use a third army here. Because I need to attack C to Ball very soon, and that means I'm gonna need as many as I possibly can get my hands on. Sure, in this army then. Scald, excellent. Tier 3 support unit. Tome of Application. Scrub. Artificing. Artesian. 30% critical hit chance. Specialized in siege craft, especially crafted weapons. Siege project. Iron golems. Ooh. I don't think they had golems there. Blades, fertility, fertility sounds like a good one. Life, I would say, always finds a way. From the depths of the deepest ocean, crags of the highest mountain, nature's fertile blessing flourishes and grows. System of life, Caltrop stash. One. To repair this improvement. Province and village will not produce till repaired. Hostiles are currently in the domain. They are? Oh, okay, so they have to be in my, they can't be in my city range at all. Which is a bit annoying because my city goes in a circle. The remains of this hero have been collected. Do you have anything good? Not really. That's alright.
Teeth Shrine produced. Wizard Tower coming right up. Scald. Uh, sure. Yeah, they're getting ready. Might have too many units, actually, by which I mean, I if any are outside the city, I can attack them to clear it out more easily. I can trap population later. For now, I need to get some more of these accordingly. Coastal and river provinces. Are there even any rivers here? Yeah, that's not useful to me, unfortunately. Not any here either. Blossom of life. Revels of carnage. Oot, temple of fertility. Oh my, his capital's being attacked. I might want to go that way instead. This war of ours is tiresome. Sometimes I wonder if it would be better to end it. They've received the max there. I'll give a whisper to the capital city here to make the happiness go higher. It's impossible. Whoops. I'm pretty sure I should be able to... Yeah, this I blame this on me, but... So I'm not going to restart the turn. I should have known that would happen. However, I'm pretty sure the AI was being extraordinarily stupid. Because that's how it... John debate. Oh, crap. That means I lost my hero. I mean, I guess it does give me some extra... Alright, that face their turn healing, so that does give me a bit of time. Of course they'd take that. Damn me path fighting in this game, I swear. Alright, there we are. All those units now have Steadfast, so they can't drop below 1 HP. Ah, so basically it's going to take two turns to kill them if I calculated that right. Oh, it only lasts a turn. That's a bit annoying, actually.
Alright, we'll see how this battle goes. Slowed, frozen, resisted. Of course, you'd miss. Bending Awakening. <laughs> Cavalry Slayer. That's the best I can do for now. Let's see if I can take it. If I can take out the heroes, that's honestly their only really threatening units. Of course, my MP's out. Just can't be that easy, can it? But if I kill the leader, that's... Shit. Here we go. That's a huge morale boost. There we are, that's one archer down. Of course, the Berserker, I forgot, Berserkers get steadfast. As I mentioned, that's a really nice buff because it basically means you have to... Missed, 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 okay there. Alright, let's get a distraction going. If I can take out the heroes, then I think that's what really matters, because that's going to be a huge morale penalty to them. Alright, heals up.
Missed. I don't know why I even bother. All right, here we go. They've got a worse penalty morale than I do, so that's good on my end. Critical... Cr oh, wow, that was nice. Yeah, cold-blooded to reduce their morale penalties is really nice. Although, in this case, it's less they're cold and more that the people of Seamafort are just plain... that laid back. Oh wow, that's a really nice one. And say goodbye to the hero. They're fleeing. We won. We took an impossible battle and won it. Your ruler has leveled. Martial expertise, defense three. We're going to be extremely tanky. Inspect. Nothing particularly noteworthy, but... Our hero was taken. Very unfortunate. Burden of guilt. Ah, that's why he was doing so much damage. Well, we lost the scout for no good reason. A Godier's aid. You receive a message from Prince Meandor. Jean Tepe, I've heard words about your campaign in the realm. I'm impressed with your efforts and hereby offer my aid. Allow me to fight. It is your hero. Together we shall claim this. Ooh. Yeah. Aid. I cannot, currently I cannot accommodate your rival, but I'll welcome your aid in the future. Sabotage the supports. Tower bombardment. Break the battlements. He'll be back in this time. Fertility. Signet of Knighthood. Focus crystals acquired. Ooh, we managed to obtain the Rings of Binding, so all heroes gain additional buffs. Perfect, actually. 
I don't need a bannerman, might not be too bad. Looks like he's got himself a new hero. Uh, not sure what he's doing, but... Ah, Reveler's Heart. Now it's gonna be impossible for us to lose morale. Annex a new province. Wonderful. I don't have a hut. Let's get a hut. The Academy. Market. Lord's Manor wouldn't be too bad either. Army heal. <laughs> Revel of Carnage. Infestation is sending forces. An academy, wonderful. This you treat your citizens well. Now a famed bard, heard a contact with a charming smile wreathing his face. It's honor to speak with you, Tepeta. The Musicians has strong loot. I'm known throughout the realm as a humble bard, storyteller, and lyricist. You're truly a legend. Your legends inspire me. I must write a ballad. Make it a troop. Battle honor and benevolence. We must stand together to thrive. Additional siege project slot. I should have gotten that earlier. Units of the Rally of Legion are stronger. Probably should have gotten that sooner, huh? <laughs> Tome of Summoning Teleportation. Teleportation should be good. He could cast Teleportation in Breath of Fire. The mage who fully utilizes the potential of magic to expand their tactical options on the field. Might as well green additional sensing that range. Is a cunning mage. Imagine a hapless commander, all prepared for an oncoming assault, only to suddenly find themselves facing a pincer attack. The art of teleportation oh. provides endless possibilities. For the <laughs> Our ally helped me. And there we are, we defeated him. 
You've crumbled the last defenses and cast him to the Astral Void, banishing him from this realm forever. Whatever schemes he had in the works, none shall come to fruition. The last of his misguided troops flee to hide in the woods. His Omar, their spirits crushed by the false idol's yoke, find themselves at your mercy, O glorious king. He's the thorn in your side no more. I will commemorate the expense of victory. Baiting zeal to come. The guy, let him pass. Hold a parade. Spare no expense. <laughs> Vassalize the conquered city. Set arcane research. Mass recall. Uh, let's get someone phase beast actually. Your ruler has leveled. Waiting. Oh, I forgot to give him a signature skill. How embarrassing for me. So I'm an animal. Uh, good enough. New empire development skills are available. If I'm gonna need uh, water and travel and stuff next. <laughs> Salted. Declare arrival, as you laugh last. works. Excellent. Clarion is now under my control. That's quite a few, uh... Ooh, I see. Give Whispering Stone. Give Whispering Stone. None are available. I can take one from my city, then. It's done a lot to help, but... I'm going to need it now, so let's put it anywhere. That was a pretty dangerous set. Pioneer, interesting. Right, I need to get the upgrade in order to resurrect dead heroes of the crypt. You know what? Let's uh, let's not bother. Instead of heroes, yeah, I believe this is needed to resurrect heroes in the crypt, and we'll build another wizard tower, and the uh, yeah, that will work. Yeah, I think we're we're well on our way to winning this, even if it's a smaller scale one. Summon phase beast is complete. Stabs of mending.
Make peace. War ended. Ambassador, my king, we've discovered your interest in strengthening diplomatic bonds. We have a long shared history. We would rejoice if you were to look favoric upon them. Splendid. I was planning for them to become my vassal anyways. In that case, let's do that and uh, toss one here. Yeah, the only reason to reset was because the person I was doing it with was at war. Oh my, that's a tier 4 unit. Yeah, I, I need to take care of that thing. We're gonna have to reinforce Clarion then. There we are. My silly strategy is working well. I don't want to found a city here because it's not a very because it's not in a very good location. I could and get one of my these other cities here. Focus crystals. I could annex this city. Well, maybe I will. Cap here. Cities may expand to provinces too higher. Additional casting points are also welcome. <laughs> Complete. Good, good. Emergency teleportation. I guess that's alright. Signets of knighthood. Now anyone who doesn't have the race, the uh, feudal stand together bonus, now has it. Wonderful. I need to save up for the teleporter empire for easy control. But then again, this is a smaller map, so it's not a huge deal. I don't think. Oh my, that's a living fog. That's a bit of an annoying thing to deal with. I need to get rid of that. Seema Fort can annex again. Can I even annex anything? Guess not. Uh, I probably can once I get the Grand Estate, although that will be a while from now. Not bad, there we are. <laughs> Revels of blood at the start of al and allies gain. Not bad, actually. Negotiation succeeded. Our spring stone returned. Act of vassalage. Alright, we'll take out the haunted graveyard next. Bone Golem and the other undead stare troops with fear and hunger. Oh, hello, Ryzun. Sorry, I was a bit, uh, checked there. Let's release their spirits in. I've been using uh, Tepeda's uh, slash Jean's frog empire to conquer things. 
just managed to take out one leader, so we're almost at the end. Ooh, Revel of Blood. That's a fun one. Subjugation Sanctuary. Cycles. Alright, Cycles sounds good. There is a cycle to all things. Stabs of Mending. Upon its prey, gaining strength. The corpse rots, nourishing the life. Excellent. Life gives way to death. Which in turn gives way to more life. All cities gain Master additional population. This ebb and, flow, and you will find you can manipulate both its gifts as well as the toll it demands. This a new scu a sculptor approaches you, bowing reverently. The populace of Sima Fort have hired me, a humble Sculptor, in the likeness of kings and godir, to immortalize your image in marble and flow rock. Tough minerals to work with, but I would use nothing less for a king of your stature. If you'd be so kind as to strike a pose. A benevolent gesture, helping hand reading out. A battle and defensive stance for the city. We'll get the teleporter empire. Excellent. What the heck's that thing? Lost wizard. Uh, my mythic units are so powerful they basically specialize in everything. Dang, this is a really interesting design. That hat. Ethereal. It's through immunity to most status effects. Forbidden tome. Unit gains a forbidden spell, which can then be used for a single action until the end of the turn. Greater phase can teleport to Hex. Hmm. Very large target, so easier to hit with ranged attacks. Magic origin, unit. It doesn't conform to a particular fighting style. It simply has everything. Is there a lore sort of thing I can look at? Hmm. Given he has a similar kind of hat to some of the I want that. Yeah. Yeah, given his kind of hat. I'm guessing this is basically one of the wizards that's been lost in the ethereal sea for so long they've lost themselves and become a monster, effectively. I've never seen this thing before, actually. Huh. It looks cool. I wonder if I can get one. Then again, that might be seen as morally questionable, since they're basically a Godi lost Godir. Projectiles of decay might not be bad. Might as well grab that for some more stability. Alright, now these guys might attack me. No, they're not. Interesting. How bad is it? Let's watch the replay here, see exactly how that thing fights. I made sure to make Tapeda uh, slash Jean complete a, ridden, a massive tank. So uh, if enemies waste time trying to damage him when they can't, that would be most ideal for me. Living Fog is a pretty annoying enemy. That's a mirror mimic. Hmm. Those guys can be frustrating depending on what they copy. It's a big if. But late game, they're pretty absurd from what I've seen. Fairies are decent. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, 
Okay, wasted time trying to attack. Insanity resisted. Regeneration hastened rally. Awaken. Stand together, Cinder. Yeah. Good, their main supporters don't gone, so that's going to be easier. Giant Slayer. Oh man, Tapeta's really taking a big chunk out of it. And barely taking anything since I went full tank build on him. It probably would have been better to go pure offense, but I wanted to stay true to Breath of Fire 2, where he was really tanky. A single archer I'm not worried about. Bolstered... Oh, no. Flag bannermen, pretty good for both healing and buffing. Although you need to position them properly, so they can't heal from too far away. Compared to some of the other priests. <laughs> Critical. Okay, that worked. That's all of them gone. And that's what makes a mirror mimic so dangerous. As soon as the thing they copy dies, they turn back to themselves. At low HP, granted, but they can shift again. I'm in control. This is just a replay, though. Nearly 200 HP is a lot to chew through. Oh, it still took the units even though. Wonderful. Finally, it's clean. Staff of Blossom is not bad. Oh boy, more tier 5 units. That's not incredibly frustrating, right? Tier 5 units are really expensive and hard to get on mass, so I'm not too bothered if I can't, but... Oh, whatever. Summon a Phase Beast. Rainbow Clover obtained. Oh, nice. We're just missing the Archon Blood now. Alright, so his main city is here somewhere. Tinkerberg is not his capital. It's just another one. But it might be within my best interest to take it, simply so that he loses access to... Well, no. If I can take his capital, that's even better. Which is probably going to be somewhere over here. Right, I couldn't bypass here. Oh, there is a road here. I thought that was purely water. Okay, that explains it. 
Yeah, let's not fight it. Your ruler has leveled. Killing momentum. New rally has started. I have a lot of priests that I don't really need, so... Perhaps I should reinforce some of the... Seat above all. And some more of these for the crush rock. Good news. Okay, then. Grand Estate. Sure, we'll just speed it up. This is the absolute edge of the map, so I can't annex anything there. But I can annex this. A little funny range there. But hey, it works. Alright, what's next? Um, more wizard towers would be ideal, simply to gain me more. Bullet points, gain access to recall ruler spell. Let's go with a wizard tower to maximize. Oh, wonderful. Let's go here then. Do 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 do. Projectiles of Decay. Druid of the Cycle. Excellent. The thing you have to be careful of, though, is tier 4 and 5 units require not just upkeep in gold or mana, but also Imperium, and Imperium is one of the harder resources to obtain regularly. So... More Empire Development skills are available. Allegiance. All here's all non here's gain a rank. You are insulted. This pit champion. He's invited to use warriors. The improvised arena is a bloodstained mess of gore. The loud yelling and stench. And shim. The sweat is hard to ignore as the motley squads pummel each other to the ground. When the battle ends, a victor reveals grinning teeth. Well done, your inner beast has secured your victory. I invite to join my ranks. Champion. This display of violence appalls me. Nature boon, I suppose.
a great city. Your empire welcomes Harrington as grown convinced that only you lead the way. It's creeping clan join your empire from this day forward. You guide the development. Inspect it. Tonya. Ah, nice. Temple of Fertility would be ideal, I think. Don't need to produce anything. Balanced income. What does the hero look like, actually? Mask of precision. A ring. Wand of healing. That reminds me, hero crypts. Do any of these have good uh, gear? Not looking that way. Seed of Materium. Well, I guess I know we need to destroy, don't we? Declare war without justification. It's currently unjust. Announcements of verbal warning. Using grievances to come without a grievance. A verbal warning about a grievance that affects the target ruler and the relationships that you've met. It's a unique one. Yeah, I can't afford to have a penalty to Imperium. tonight. Seed above all, I should probably reinforce a little more here. Reinforce it. Because the moment I declare war, that huge one... What size are you playing? Uh, I'm doing a relatively small one right now. If you mean map, it's a smaller one, only three people total. I mostly wanted to try out to the character I made based on Breath of Fire 2. It's He's specifically designed for a tall empire over a wide one, hence why I've got so many vassals. Uh, I don't want to speed that up for that price. You have some pretty good stuff on my hands now. I'm just going to ignore those. Act of vassalage with Druin. Ah, now that your diplomatic bonds have been developed, the Creeping Clan Ambassador. We knew you wouldn't fail us, my king. The ambassador words are accentuated by wide gestures. We're glad to learn that your empire and celebrate your mutual interests, and so the creeping clan, the mole blood letters. May our people prosper forevermore. Our new vassals are eager to visit our cities. Who among should we invite first? Citizens to show off our great works and monuments. I do have some stuff that benefits the higher city stability there is, so might as well make everyone happy where possible. And I don't mind hurrying this because, again, I need to protect the city.
Druid of Cycle. Fast Recall. Haste Berries, Archon. Archon Blood acquired, and that means excellent. The Cosmoflex Elixir's, Elixir's done. Some more income. Wonderful. Summon a Phase Beast, and here we are. Actually, I should probably put the Phase Beast here, and this guy here. Yeah, I think that would be ideal. Excellent. I've got a pretty good Empire, Vassal Empire here. Ah, yeah, this was the Archon Blood I was missing. I could probably put a city up here to grab some of that, grab some of that stuff, but... I think I'm in good shape, honestly. Lost wizard. Is there a lore thing I can look up? Uh, combat... Okay. It might be somewhere, but I did like how the previous games had some uh, flavor text for each and every unit. It might still be in this game, and I just don't see it here. I haven't been looking up too much, just trying to try the old trial by fire to learn about everything that way. Teleporter. Channeling the power of the root nodes, that is a fabricated. Here we are. Ah. Okay, now I gain Imperium because I'm now actually justified. Pretty sure this is capital down here, so if I can take him out, I'll feel pretty good. Plus, I've got an army up here that can jump into action anytime it's needed. Declaration ended, countered. Oh yeah, the rivalry ended because we're now officially at war. Age of Wonders. Hello, Lucid. Welcome to the stream. I'm still getting pretty absorbed rather quickly, that's for sure. Yeah. Ever play Breath of Fire 2? Because that's who I uh, base my character on. Hence trying to make him a tanky knight. And boy, is he tanky. Um, 69%. Yeah, each defensive point is worth a bit less than 10%. So unfortunately, the part's not exactly 10. Something like 7, I think. But I guess it does have some diminishing returns since 11's pretty high. Still, 70% damage reduction from physical attacks is pretty nice. Brown, indeed. He's my favorite character from Breath of Fire 2, and I'm glad that I was able to recreate him in this game. Future assistance, well. Now the citizens wish to invite the people of Clarion. Your local guildmaster is excited. We're thinking of organizing a collected festival, my king. It seems the Omar love our potato dumplings, and they promise to share one of our delicacies, one of their delicacies in return. We're playing on musical performances, a grand market, a feast for all. These festivities would be a great opportunity to strengthen our bonds. What would you prefer? A shared festival would help us all. Sounds good to me. Oh my. Still, battles can only be three armies at, at a time. He's got a lot of tier 3 guys. A Bastion's pretty tough, but I think we can handle this. But Stone Root's the capital, and I need to capture that. Although, I suppose backup would be ideal, so let's hurry up the recruitment here and send these guys to the underground. 
Mass recall would be good emergency escape button. The chaplain's okay. Oh. New tome time. Nature's Wrath. Tome of Paradise. Sounds good to me. Give me a blanket of forest to spread a guy has chosen. Can annex a new province. Conduit here. Spells ready to cast. Um, a Revels of Carnage. Or Blizzard. Blizzard might not hurt. Ah, they have a spell jammer here. That's gonna make life a little rough. Alright, he's gonna attack. Let's see if I can handle it. The three strongest armies in the area are the ones pulled in, so... Oh, wonderful. I thought he was based off the frog from Chrono Trigger, but Breath of Fire 2 makes sense. Yeah, he's based off Jean Tepeda. Jean being his uh, name in the original Super NES translation, and Tepeda being his Japanese name. I decided to kind of mix them. That way, I you don't have to choose. How cute. He thinks he has a chance against me. Well, I'll let you guys handle that. Spelljammer's probably somewhere over there. I don't know where it is, but it doesn't matter. Use the teleporter. Wonderful. Uh, might as well make a watchtower, but I don't think I need it. Actually, no. I don't need you to do anything. A hero has leveled up. Oh, wonderful. Uh, let's see here. Draining blade. Frost weapons. Martial expertise. Uh, let's see here. 52% versus uh, 57%. So that's 5% from that. I guess that's fine. The more tanky is the better. How nice of them give you involuntary pose more experience. Indeed. I need to find the spell jammer and nuke it, though. That's... I don't... Raising stuff makes you evil, but it counts as evil actions for aligned purposes, but... Ooh. Heal all units and level all of them up. Except for heroes, of course. Excellent. We're now at 100%. Yeah, you guys can't beat me. Not even a unit lost. Alright, I'll have this guy go this direction, and these guys will siege the city. If anyone finds a spell jammer, we will do it immediately. 16, huh? That's gonna take a long time. Siege projects. Revels of Blood. Uh, I guess morale could do a lot, but first, sabotage support. Under... Construct onagers. Revels of blood. Alright. Remains of these guys have been... Uh, if they have any good, I can sell. I should sell these remains to give that ch that uh, armor to Tepeda, actually. Uh, that's fine. Let's see here: two defense, ten hit points, two defense, and basically more melee damage, and that's good because he's a melee hero. Okay, good. Seed. I'm not worried about these guys, if we're honest. 
They don't have a hero. You cannot attack a city if you don't have a hero. Yeah, if you don't have a hero, you can't attack a city. So that's good. Time to reduce them to... Um, indeed, but remember, if anyone from Nintendo's around, I am a legally distinct fey creature. Not that I imagine the owners of Breath of Fire would be all that too eager to know about this either, but... But they don't know one or them. Is a spell jammer over here? Doesn't look like it. Oh well. And that must mean it's over in this direction, in which case this army will have to deal with it. Stack guarding. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be fine here. Rune Carver's camp. It's gonna be a while before the breach happens. Now, their army is probably gonna go out. They can't go after my capital because they don't have a uh, leader. That, they don't have a hero for it. I'm just them to legally sing Vague Creature v Duper Imperialism. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's actually rather impressive how high you can get the uh, delay siege attacks. I admit, when I first tr played the game compared to the previous ones, I was a bit unsure as to how much I'd like sieges because it's a pretty huge delay compared to before, but after playing a bit off stream, I've really come around to it because in the previous game you could easily ninja steal someone's city, and this prevents that. You ha no matter what, you must deal with the enemy's defenses. You must cannot steal it. A nymph comes frolic. So. It does mean I can't steal, but it also means they can't steal it from me. I, no matter what, I will have time to defend myself, and likewise, I need to be sure to fight their defenses. So yeah, it's a good change in the end, I think. You're drawn to the depths of her eyes, bombs, pools, cool green water. Her dance grows more feral and intense. The nymph seems to receive pleasure from the exaggerated movement, still suddenly stops in a suggested pose, ravenous gaze. Celebrate the spring's fertility with me, expose me to dominion's potency. You express it. Boost the birth rate with fine wine. Pretty expensive, but you know what? I think that's worth it. Golemine. Hmm. These aren't a spell jammers. I guess it really must be over here somewhere, and I'm just not seeing it. Uh, I can raise that, but that's an act of evil, so instead I'll just have the rest of the army walk around and try and find something. Gaia's Chosen. Nature's Bounty, Cycle of Seasons. Alright, let's go with uh, Gaia's Chosen for the major race transformation here. Give me a huge buff. Using wine to boost birth rate, indeed. Probably enchanted, knowing how nymphs and fey work. May or may not know from experience. Convent, Town Hall. <laughs> hmm, strangely, they never... Yeah, I'm, must be over here somewhere. I'm pretty sure none of these count as a... <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, as you can see, I can also get well over a hundred, so that it'll take him ages to go through me, too. Temple of Fertility. Hey, you know what? Let's pay to make it instant. Wizard Tower Apex. They're pillaging, but that's not really doing anything to me, so I don't care. Yeah, their leader's resurrected, so... Yeah, he's trying one last desperate attempt to stop it, but low risk. Darn it, I lost tonight. The ones from the start, too, but a small price to pay, I guess. Ah, here's the spell jammer. 
As long as I'm standing on top of it, it should be fine. Here we are. Enchanted Bloom. Your ruler has leveled. Fighting two to increase the damage a bit more. My hero's leveled up. Wonderful. Frost weapons should help their damage output. Oh right, my leader has a uh, level 10 now. So I can now choose another signature skill. Let's see here. Reckless Rage, Frostfire Detonation, Mass Rejuvenation. Mass Rejuvenation sounds very useful, actually. Keep everyone up. Excellent. Do you have anything good? Not really, if we're completely honest. The bow's not bad, but... Ruler Auto has been sent to the void. I'm going to have to pillage this just to be safe. Send a new knight to replace the one that's gone. New Empire development skills are available. A little late for that. It's like a knowledge for each province. He's getting it for each five resource. Why not? That's a pretty good boost to my mana income. Now Guy is chosen. One of the strongest transformations available. Now everyone's slightly healthier and has additional health and health and resists a lot more. Auto's back. This war of tiresome. Sometimes I wonder if it'd be better to end it. Yeah, well, you're the one that was causing the problem, Z. Knowledge is the wind that sets knowledge that powers people to greatness. Happiness. Enchanted bloom. Blessings of paradise. Army heal. Army heal. Ooh, it can annex a new province. Uh, another forester, if you please. Probably worth spending to max that. Arcane Observatory, range and true sight. Carnival of flesh. Counts as a farm. It gives draft. Yeah, he's have been having someone go across my fields, burning everything to the ground. Oh, yeah, Rally the Legions. A lot of priests here, she... I can use these to handle everything. The Lord's mana should be good here. Stone walls would be ideal, I think. Oh god, the drip hit him.
Auto combat. Excellent. Stone has been taken out. There we are. And there we are. Captured. Victor stands proudly on the remains of their enemies. You subjugated this world through force, the as the empires of the past did before you. When the dust settles, you'll discover whether it causes just or merely fanned the flames of entropy. I could have potentially gone for a. Uh... Think about it, could have potentially gone for expansion victory with the beacons, but the same a ribbit to beta. Indeed. <laughs> But the problem is, this CPU automatically declares war on you if you're about to win that way, so... He'd be sending those over to my cities. Plus, I need three cities in order to build the improvements there, so... Got two up here. Rush Rock. I was about to declare war with them. Ah, uh, yeah, that was when I took Crush Rock because they declared war on me immediately and I decided to bum rush them. Then I made them an ally there. Seat above all. Yeah, the rats made sure to discover Tinkerberg and put a city there. Interesting. That means he went up here, moved to left through here. Well, I guess there was Seat above all wasn't there at first. Diplomacy, economy, yeah, the rats are actually doing, we're neck and neck with me for a good while. Expansion, I just, yeah, I went for a tall empire instead of a wide one. Her view of her conquest, indeed. <laughs> Expansion, growth, there we are. Military. Yeah, as expected, I went for a... Uh... I think the big game changer was when I won that fight that the forecast insisted was never going to work. Because that just shot their blue army down. And they had no defenses for when I attacked their city. Research. I was actually pretty shitty in research. I'm surprised the green army was not much better. I guess I'll have to pay attention to that for the future. If there's to be a strategy, you must see the Empire must grow at some point during your playthrough. Indeed, although since because of the upgrades I've chosen my character, or uh, uh, he specialized in tall empires over wide ones, so I had less cities, but they were more individually uh, powerful. Not bad. Of course, I got these some of the end, at, near the end here. Our development attic. Alrighty. We've successfully managed to win. And, ooh, Pantheon experience. As you can see, I've almost maxed just about everything. At this point, it's just cosmetics, I guess. Here we are. Pantheon leaders. I've got a handful of custom ones here. As you can see, I set most of these to be... I set the ones I particularly like to be able to be heroes in random matches. The rest are just rulers if the AI chooses them. 
choose your destination. I can show off to Peta what I chose for a bit. Your journey starts here. Alright, obviously they're toads. I chose Hardy, which since the people the frogs of of uh Seamafort were hardy people. I chose cold blooded less because they're cold, but more because they were just really laid back. Lots of games completed now. You also level pretty fast, to be fair, so it wasn't too... I just did the campaign and got most of them, so... Yeah. It's not nearly as bad as I was worried it might be. What is that origin card? Now, since Tepeda was the prince of Seamafort, I figured it would only make sense to have feudal, since that's the lords, knights, and the peasants society. What defines their society? Their culture, since they like the arts, and Tepeda was even allowed to continue his love of painting while he was in prison, I figure they must care about the arts a lot, so perfectionist artisans. And this is the big one, because it says, basically, city structures cost twice as much production, but now grant happiness and money no matter what. City cap is reduced, so yeah, this is the main one that makes me have to go for a tall empire instead of a wide one. But at the same time, my structures are more individually powerful. And also why I, my money really started getting, getting out of hand near the end, where I could buy whatever I wanted. Talented collectors is because they spent a lot of time collecting rare ingredients for the big feast in Breath of Fire 2, so I figure I guess that could reasonably work here. Again, this also benefits the Tall Empire because it encourages me to make sure my cities are placed in good locations and that they have some really good stuff from any magic materials and other rare stuff there. Very valuable. Starting Tome, I could take or leave, honestly. Tepeda had some ice magic and some status magic, so I chose Cryomancy for the starter one, but he probably could use a nature one and be just fine. He could actually use quite a few, since uh, you could, had some versatility in how characters were, went in Breath of Fire 2. And obviously a champion, since of the people. Since my sort of headcanon is that Tepe after uh, defeating... After completing Breath of Fire 2, uh, uh, Tepeda eventually ascended to Godhood. And from there I was able to make sure... I was able to make sure he had the right look. The red eyes and the green skin with white highlights. And sadly I wasn't able to get his blue and white armor, so I just got the closest I possibly could. But yeah, that's how I was able to create the Creeping Clan and led by the... Frog, part, my favorite party member in Breath of Fire 2. What is your people's form? Choose your destination. So yeah, that was pretty fun. Alright. Should be a quick one. Uh, next time I'll be, uh, next time I stream I'm going to be yeah, doing the multiplayer one with, my, with uh, Jasper and Slade, so you can look forward to that. And uh, let's see here. Looks like Ark Spark Azrael's doing some uh, Jackbox party packs, so we'll go ahead and raid him a bit. Love the game. Thank you, Lucid. I really am having. I really do like him, and it's really nice since I do sometimes enjoy a tall empire over the wide one. So his play style is also pretty fitting for me. I'll probably be using him a good bit. I like. I really do like love this series, and this game has not disappointed. So I'm pretty happy. Right, for the moment, we'll go ahead and raid Ark Spark Azrael. Another, or if you'd rather, or wait for my next one. And if you're, <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought here. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you had a good time. Give all the love to Ark Spark Azrael, and we'll see you later.